Okay, here we're going to graph two periods of y equals negative one-fourth times sine of one-third x. The period in this case will be 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. The b value is one-third, so that's 2 pi divided by one-third, which will give you 6 pi as the period. Again, for my increments, I divide these into four equal pieces. 6 pi over 4 will give us 3 pi over 2, so I'm going to use that as the increments. The amplitude will just take the absolute value of negative 1 fourth, and that will give us positive 1 fourth. Okay, so my increments are going to be 3 pi over 2, so there's 3 pi over 2, and let's see, 1, 2, there will be another, uh, another increment another one, let's see, I'm using three units on mine, so there will be one complete uh, period. So let's see, so that would put us at 6 pi, and then another 3, um, another 3, another 3, and let's see, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, we need one more, and that'll be the end of the second period, which will put us out at 12 pi. So 3 pi over 2, we'll have 6 pi over 2, 9 pi over 2, 6 pi over 2 would just be 3 pi, uh, then we would have 12 pi over 2, which would be 6 pi, so let's see, 12 over 2, then we would have 15 over 2, then we would have 18 over 2, which would be 9 pi, and then we would have 21 over 2 times pi, and lastly, we would have 24 over 2, which would be 12 pi. Okay, so the amplitude here is just 1 fourth, so I'm going to make it pretty little, you know, pretty small. Again, things aren't exactly to scale. I'm trying to make a semi-legible graph as well. So there's 1 fourth, and we'll say down here is negative 1 fourth. And now it's just filling in the points. So if x was 0, sine of 0 is 0. And normally, if sine is uh, positive, if the, the value up front is positive, it would be going up. But since we have a negative 1 fourth, it'll be going down. And now, okay, so at 3 pi over 2, it'll bottom out at negative 1 fourth, and then it'll go to 0, and then up to positive 1 fourth, back to 0, back to negative 1 fourth, back to 0, back to positive 1 fourth, and again, back at zero. So if we connect that, if we connect that, that'll give us our graph.